So we've just stopped for a break and we thought we would dig a hole to see how deep the snow is this year. So if I grab this and I start putting this down into the hole, see if we can find a way to do this. You can see that this goes down quite a way. So if we go down into the hole. So we're down, probably pushing almost two or three feet underground here. Well, two feet anyways. You can see there's the ground. And if we turn it around and we look back up this way, you can see back up in the sky there. You might be able to see us, you might not because of the light. But the neat thing is, is that, is that uh, ground down there is going to be relatively warm. So if we pull back up out of the hole, come back up out of the hole, and say during the, you know, during the day or during the night, in the winter time, all through the forest here, okay, it would have been, you know, we had some pretty cold days, minus 20, minus 30. But in this hole, down at the bottom of the ground, it's probably only minus two or minus three, just warm enough or just cold enough to keep the to keep the ground a little frozen and to keep the vegetation from rotting. And because it's warm down there, it's a whole underground city for mice, and shrews, and voles, and all kinds of other things that don't hibernate in the wintertime, they're active all year round. And they'll have a little network of tunnels that go down through here. Quite a bit less, quite a bit thinner than the tunnel we dug in the hole here. But as you can see, we're pretty good tunnel diggers. Yeah. All right, well, that's pretty much it for Earth Hour for us. So say good night, Caden. Night. And say good night, Ainsley. Good night. Good night. And we will see everybody on the next video that we do. Happy Earth Hour, everyone. And good Happy luck. Happy Earth Hour. And good luck. And good luck. <laughs>